sir. You have come, Julie. Anna Clark, all's well. On the very second, my lady. I feared you might find obstacles in your path too great to overcome. Obstacles are nothing, my lady. True, I swam through rivers of blood to reach you. Five of your excellency's guards have paid with their lives, and five more lie wounded. But I would have reached my goal, my lady, even though I crawled to your feet, but to die. I like that speech, Cellini. I have a surprise for you. The Duke is here. Here? At the palace? Is Cellini afraid? Oh, no, 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 no. Not for myself. No, I, I, I would not compromise my Duchess. So. Your courage is composed, then, only of words. Well, what you call fear, my lady, is that little part of my soul which I call honor. Bah, that word. It is enough to turn an honest woman's stomach. Honor. It is merely a term used by men to cover their cowardice. Well, it's just as well I found you out. The tragedy of all great ladies is to discover that the men with the most exaggerated reputations make the poorest lovers. That is the reason we probably marry halfwits. Well, you've delivered the key, so now you may swim back through your rivers of blood to your workshop. You're only a goldsmith after all. You may give me the key and go. Give me the key. Perhaps I should tell the Duke you're here. Perhaps you think I won't tell him. Probably fallen downstairs again. Did you break something? <laughs> Wait. If I'm going out there again, I've got to have something to do. Alessandro, open the door. Is that your wife? <laughs> Alessandro, open the door. You wait out on the balcony. I find out what this old Dido is doing. Alessandro! <laughs> 